we're here at the Jewish Senior Center. I think it's going to be exciting because from, from age comes wisdom. I'm excited. I'm excited to spread the message, to spread the word about John McCain. Thank you, Lance. You're a great American. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm uh, Martin Eisenstadt. You don't like Bush? No, hate it. You don't want to drill for oil? How are we going to drive our cars? Well, they'll find a way. Don't worry about it. You're, 90, you're 94? Yes. Yeah, you're I'm healthier not. than I am. You, you should see the medicine I have to carry around with me. Okay. Well, enjoy your lunch. It was, a pleasure, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's incredible. 94? I'm less coherent than she is. Are you going to be voting in the presidential election? I hope so. I don't know. I have Do we have a sticker for the gentleman? Yeah. Is there anything you like about McCain? I like his wife. His wife. Thank, Thank you. It's a nice country. You think it's the best country? It is, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a citizen of America. I go for, vote for McCain. I don't want to show my face. face. <laughs> because, because my kids, they live in Iran. Here's a sticker. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for having us. Have a great day. Uh, Danny, can you figure out how this works? I think you have a new career. Danny, Danny, there's got to be a way to leave. Danny. Can you solve the problem? It's like, it's like when you left, you know. Danny, whatever, whatever. whatever. Same situation. Danny, how do we get out of here? I can ask, but maybe, well, maybe. Please ask, maybe ask. You know what it's said? Oh, we're locked in. Oh. I think it's locked in. Oh, you gotta be strong. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The reality on the ground is there are a lot of people out there, like we just saw now, who are voting for McCain, but with their backs to the camera. Because they don't want the face seen. Did you see that today, Danny? Yeah. Well, people are scared. Some people reason. are scared to admit they love that they love John McCain. Yeah. I accept we're not going to reach every spoiled American. A lot of those spoiled Americans, they're going to vote for Obama because it's hip and it's cool. What we're looking for is the people from repressive countries who have kids in danger. I mean, that woman is basically asking John McCain, "Please bomb Iran to save my children." I mean, you can ask Lance. I mean, things are changing. I mean, in the end, this endeavor worked. Bush and Cheney, because they come from the oil business, they saw where the markets were heading. So Iraq, but it's deeper. It was planting a seed in the Middle East, and it's happening. You're seeing peace on the ground now. You're seeing, uh, I mean, I, I saw it myself. Iraqis bringing flowers to soldiers, you know, throwing rice on them. Um, there's even been liaison between soldiers and Iraqi women. Because there's been a lot of, you know, a lot of men are in jail. Some have been killed, some have fled. There's a lot of single Iraqi women. I mean. And I'm not afraid, you know, sometimes in, sometimes in Iraq I would just jump out, Lance. There was times we'd be driving around and I would just say, driver, stop the car. Look, the towers are coming up. If we get every one of these people a phone, that's a lot of phones. Do you really want cell phones to people that you can't, whose loyalty you can't trust? It makes for a marvelous GPS device, remote detonator for an explosive, uh, great for espionage, coordinating sabotage or terrorist attacks. Iraq is the new Puerto Rico. It's like Puerto Rico with hummus, our 52nd state. And you only pay twice. Once when you buy the phone, and at the end of every year. Ten years ago, there was, what, three cell phones, and now there's three million. Trust me, would you rather be living in some backwards where you barely have electricity, where every day you're worshipping a dictator running around with camels, or would you rather be a part of the modern world? Under Saddam Hussein, I mean, they didn't even know how to make fun of, of Paris Hilton. I mean, it, was, it wasn't even in their, in, their, in their stream of consciousness. How about you? Would you like a McCain sticker? You guys are, you guys are like twin brothers. Good to see you. One of my old Blackwater guys. Oh, uh -huh, nice. Thank you for your service. We're very proud. And you're serving now in Beverly Hills. Can I interest you in a John McCain sticker? You're a great American, thank you. 